Hi, this is Han Ju from Boss Media Group, your digital marketing specialist helping you present your dream to the world. So I got a question today regarding MailChimp and I thought it would be really helpful to show everyone how to quickly import a document and create a personalized email to each recipient. So the company we're working with is a nonprofit organization and they're ready to send out an end of the year contribution information via email. And due to the large number of donors, it would take a long time to prepare and send out a customized email to each person. So here's a quick solution that will take less than, I don't know, 10 minutes to prepare and send, 10 minutes. All right, so first I'm gonna assume that you already have some type of database available with the required information ready to go, whether it's been downloaded from your accounting software or you kept record of it on your spreadsheet or whatever that you have it ready to go and for this example I will create my own database on Google spreadsheet here real quick um, I'm gonna go ahead and start my first name here and my little I'll create the last name on this column email address here and contribution here and then I'll go ahead and put the first name how about this even keel huh <laughs> it's actually evan but whatever and i'm gonna just use bogus.com hopefully no one has that email address uh say he donated 50 dollars last year and actually i'm gonna put a real address here which is me hanju lee and hanju at bossmediagroup.com okay so these are all the contributions that people made last year and I'm going to go ahead and save that. I'm going to, oh, let me name that first. Contributions last year. I'm going to go ahead and hit file, um, download as a comma separate values, also known as a CSV. And I'm going to go ahead and save that. Okay, done with that. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and go into MailChimp.com. And I'm going to go ahead and, and log in. And here's my login. And I'm going to go into my list and, and I'm going to create a new list. And I'm going to call this um, donations last year and info at bossmediagroup.com. And I'm going to have it come from Hanju. And remind people how they signed up. I'm just going to thank you for your contribution. Um, and there's my address. And then I can go ahead and I'm just gonna say I'm gonna hit a daily summary and then I'm gonna go ahead and add contacts and I'm gonna as a, I'll give me an option to import I'm gonna go ahead and choose a CSV and then hit next and then I'm gonna browse uh, into the donation sheet that I just downloaded and then I'm gonna go ahead and click on that and I'm gonna click yes I do understand and then hit next and it gives me this option here. So first column one, um, the field that the MailChimp has is called first name. And I'm gonna go ahead and see if that's what it is. So it is, yes, these are my first names. So I'm gonna hit and go ahead and hit save. The second column I created was a last name column as well as a default, and I'm gonna go ahead and save that. And the next column it recognizes as an email address. I'm cool with that, so I'm gonna hit save. In the next column, it doesn't really know what it is. So it says make a selection. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click here and I'm gonna create a new column name. I'm gonna name that new column donation. And for the field type, I'm gonna go ahead and create number because that's gonna be the actual number. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit save. Now, once this is all set, I'm gonna go ahead and hit next. And it says go ahead and import and import them as subscribed. And I'm gonna go ahead and import. And there you have it. So we have five names imported from my spreadsheet that I created. And um, all the donation, last name, and first name all came in correctly. So I'm done with that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new campaign on MailChimp. And go ahead and hit campaign, new. And I'm going to call it uh, maybe donation letter. And campaign type, I'm going to click regular. And I'm going to go ahead and create it. Now here, it asks. Uh, who, who I want to be on the list, I'm going to go ahead and say the entire list. Hit next. And the campaign name, I already named already. The email subject that people are going to see when they get this email from me, it's going to be thank you 
for your and then I'm gonna now it wants me to select a template so I don't have a template yet I'm gonna create a theme and under the theme I'm gonna create a stationary and there's these three stationary options and I'm gonna go ahead and pick this one there's a lot of different themes you can choose any one you want I just chose that one because it's really simple and I'll probably kind of customize this here let me put my logo in there real quick I'm gonna do an upload here's my logo it's 600 pixels because as you can see it's way too big so I'm gonna go ahead and edit that on this side and I'm gonna resize that to maybe 250 pixels wide um, I'm gonna hit apply and I'm gonna hit save now it shrunk it but still in the center I want to kind of align it to the left I'm gonna hit settings on this side and here's your alignment I'm gonna align it to the to the left side okay now I'm going ahead and looking at the content of the letter and I'm gonna go ahead and click on the edit to edit this whole entire part portion of the letter um, this is dear customers this is where I'm gonna merge the first name in so the way to merge it in is after it says dear I'm gonna go into the merge tags and when I click on this it's gonna show me all the different um, fields that are available so I'm gonna go ahead and use first name so see that there's a first name and the comma after that I'm gonna go ahead and highlight that and bold it and I'm gonna go ahead and write my own letter I'm gonna say thank you for support supporting uh, organization a tax deduct amount of let's go ahead and put the dollar sign in here and then hit merge tags again and then this is where you can put your donation in here tax deductible amount was contributed last year thank you so much all right so I'm gonna put my name in here and change the company and I'm gonna go ahead and bold this as well it's just so when people see it it kind of pops out in the letter oh also don't forget on the top left corner here um, this is a the first thing that people will see when they get your email and this is the first message that they will see so I'm gonna donation that I'm going to save it I'm going to hit next and I'm just going to review here I'm going to there's a list of five recipients subject line thank you for your generosity uh, it replies to this email address and everything looks really good so I'm going to go ahead and send it and high five the monkey all right, now, once this is set, you can go ahead and look at your email. Here's my email. As you can see, it's customized to my name here, my first name. And then also, the $90 here is bolded. Okay, I hope that was super helpful. Please subscribe to this channel for more awesome tips on digital marketing to help you achieve your dream by growing your business.